Hello. This is my little Chinese heater, which showed up a couple of days ago on eBay. I also bought through a company called Jack's Car Parts this black bracket that you'll see here. I bought this because of where I'm going to mount it. I'm going to mount it on a door. So I need something to hold this up. When you get this heater, you get a little piece of black hose. And if you watch John's videos, you'll see those. I can't do any better a job than John does. He has all the equipment, all the tests, all the gauges, written down all the information. He's a fantastic guy to talk to. I've talked to him on, through YouTube several times. One of the things he suggests doing is putting in a larger air hose than the one you get in the kit and get one that's not perforated. The one you get in the kit is a corrugated piece of, of cardboard. It basically looks like the exhaust pipe or a, think of a screw. And inside it's got all those ridges. Now, if you know anything about airflow, and I'm a mechanic by trade and I've had to work with a lot of mine air heaters. I spent 31 years working for a mining company. Anytime you get turbulence in the air and the air tumbles, things don't work properly. There is a fan in here that sucks air in, which is at this end. And the outside fan drives an inside fan, which takes the air out of here and puts it in the burner chamber, which is underneath the exhaust, which goes here, and your hot air comes out here. You need this calm and clean and it's got to remain stable or you just don't burn properly. The other thing that was suggested was a larger air filter. What you get with the kit is it's, it's called a silencer. You throw it in the garbage, it's useless. Go and buy yourself a proper air filter. These are like $3 American on eBay. I bought three of them. And then I also went and got some air conditioning um, filter material. It's just white on one side, blue on the other, and you can probably see the bands that I have here holding this on the outside. This just clips on here. Now, I'm going to set this in a box, and when I set this in a box, my air inlet is going to be outside the box. I'm taking the snorkel hood that you would see normally on, the, on a Toyota or whatever truck. A lot of guys have snorkels. I'm going to put a snorkel here. And on my snorkel, I also have the same material. I'll get you my snorkel in a second. I'll show you that. That's going to plug in here. So my air will be filtered before it gets to the unit. My output air is going into a metal 90 degree elbow because this is going to mount on the door. I'm looking at purchasing an Alu Cab Canopy Camper. When you buy the Alu Cab Canopy Camper, the canopy camper comes with a mount on the back door you can put a 33 inch tire on. I'm taking that mount off and I'm going to set a box in that place and I'm going to use the door as what's going to be holding this on the outside. This will be mounted on the outside of the vehicle blowing in. Alright, so what I'll do now is I'll show you what the snorkel looks like. This is just a simple snorkel. You can buy them anywhere. This is eBay. And you can see the filter material that I put in here. Now if this is mounted on the truck, it would mount like so. And then your air comes in, gets, keeps all the dust out of here, and it makes the system work even better because it's clean air. And that is simply going to mount like this on my box. And obviously this is upside down. So this is down and that's up down there. And my fuel tank will be in the same box. So what I'll do now, I'm gonna put this back. I'm gonna shut off the video and refocus the camera and get started on the pipe.